What's up guys, ASMR Prodigy back again with another video, and in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are doing another ASMR conspiracy, 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 yes, we are doing another conspiracy, I have one up that I posted maybe a week ago on time travel, and now this one is one that I have put a lot more research into, and one that I'm actually excited to make and sit down and do this, so, if you could, Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment on any conspiracy theory you'd like me to cover in the future. With that being said, I have to get this off my chest. I know YouTube is not the biggest fan of people posting about conspiracy theories. There is very minimal videos on YouTube about conspiracy theories because, you know, you can make a good one and then it's just going to get filtered down to the bottom of the barrel because they don't want to promote that stuff, which I guess I understand, but... So, all I'm saying is that if this doesn't get posted or it gets taken down, I'm going to be very, 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 very hurt. Other than that, let's start. So, the theory that we're covering today is the assassination of John F. Kennedy. As a lot of people have been told, and as what is known as the truth right now, John F. Kennedy was assassinated by uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, who shot him while he was on a uh, like a drive through Dallas. It was like a parade type deal. Um, it was on November 22nd, 1963. And they apparently, known to the public, Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone and shot and assassinated JFK. But there are some flaws with that statement. So let's hop into this. So a flaw with this Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone theory is that JFK was shot in the neck first before getting shot in the head. And uh, the gun that Lee Harvey Oswald was using was a bolt action rifle. Now, there was time between the two shots, but it was not enough time. It's been concluded that there was not enough time for him to, you know, use the bolt action to shoot him again. It's not like an automatic where you could pop, pop, shoot, shoot, you know what I mean? So, that right there shows that there's not even a possibility that Lee Harvey Oswald did this by himself. And another thing with that is that there were actually three shots that were shot that day. There was one that shot the first shot, very first shot, bounced off the ground and hit some bystander like in the cheek, right? So that right there proves that, you know, there's more than one guy. Second shot, uh, I don't really necessarily remember the order of them, but I know one, uh, one obviously hit JFK in the neck, and then there was one more, and I don't remember what it hit. I know the guy, John Connolly, the governor that was sitting in front of JFK, got, he got shot as well. Like, and here's the thing, here's the thing. I know I'm kind of all over the place here, but there's just a lot of stuff I want to unpack here. The shot is referred to as the magic bullet theory, saying that there's only one shot that was fired that day. I probably should have said this before I went in a little rant, but the magic bullet theory is that the shot goes th through JFK, somehow goes down into the spine or the back area of the governor who's sitting in front of JFK, somehow bounces up and then hits the governor and his like wrist shatters his wrist so the bullets going like it's impossible and that's why it's called the magic bullet theory because if there were to be one bullet shot that day um it just doesn't make sense so it goes through jfk's neck into the governor's back and then up and into his wrist that doesn't make sense so that's the magic bullet theory and that is honestly part of the most unbelievable stuff from this entire conspiracy so in my opinion the uh, actual reason behind this assassination comes from the cia i think the cia had some part in to do with it because i believe now don't quote me on this but i believe that jfk was going to start defunding the cia and you know taking their budget away from them and they were not happy about that um that's not a quote that's just what i I think I remember seeing somewhere in like a video or reading an article or something, but 
another thing that backs up that theory is that the two guys in the front of the car, so here's how the car looks. I'll probably show a picture of it, but there's two people, the driver and the guy in the passenger seat are both CIA, right? They both are part of the CIA. Then we got John Connolly, the governor, and his wife, and then we got JFK and Jackie, his wife. So there's six people total in the car. And when the first shot is fired and missed and hits the ground, the drivers slow down. They slow down. They don't, you know, any normal person who hears a gunshot and is in an open topped car with no roof or anything is going to speed up and get the hell out of there. That's just my opinion, but I think that's kind of consensus of everyone would do that. So they slow down, right? And it's been said from Jackie herself, uh, JFK's wife, she said that the I don't remember the CIA guys, the driver, I don't remember his name, but she said he was acting very weird that day, like oddly weird that day, um, so that just, that doesn't prove that he was a part of anything, but that just kind of, you know, helps the theory out a little bit, so deep diving further into this, there's a couple more things that need to be talked about, and that would be the Umbrella Man and the Grassy Knoll, so... And then I have something at the end that kind of literally 100% proves this theory, or my theory, I guess. But let's start with the Umbrella Man. So the Umbrella Man was a guy in a black suit that had an umbrella, right? You know, the thing that's weird about that is that it is 90, like 90 plus degrees out in Dallas, and he has a full suit on and an umbrella. It's not raining. It's not anything. Why would you have an umbrella? I mean, I guess you could say, oh, to block the sun, but he's wearing a hat. It's it's weird because it was said that as soon as JFK was in position to get shot, he opens up the umbrella as kind of like a signal for whoever or however many people are there to, you know, shoot. You got the shot. Shoot it. So that's the umbrella, man. And then another uh, part of this theory that's very popular is the grassy knoll. Now the grassy knoll is where it is allegedly where the actual shooter that killed JFK shot is shot. Uh, the bullet that killed JFK hit, not like the one that went through his neck or the one that hit the governor or the one that bounced off the ground and hit the bystander, the one that actually killed JFK. So that, the grassy knoll, is where allegedly the shooting actually took place. And now that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that Lee Harvey Oswald was not up in the building. It was like a school book building, I think. And it doesn't mean that uh, he wasn't up there shooting because, uh, you know, I think he was. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention that kind of helps prove this is that there were at least two shell casings found from bullets, at least two, and right, mind you, the record in what is now says that only one bullet was shot and killed JFK, one shot, and there were two casings found, and then, like I said earlier, it was four shots that were fired, uh, that's just from eyewitnesses and stuff, that people were there, that actually heard it, that actually saw it, um, sorry, kind of got a little off track, but the grassy knoll is where the shooter that shot JFK was allegedly placed, and now I'm going to probably show a picture of the route that was, you know, taken by JFK in the motorcade, but the grassy knoll had the most perfect lined up, like lined up area to where you would be able to shoot JFK, and coming towards the end of my theory here, I think the most compelling evidence, and it ties right in with the grassy knoll, is that if you slow down the video, uh, I probably won't show a picture of it in this video because it's kind of graphic, but if you slow down the video of JFK getting shot, the bullet, so I'm JFK sitting here, the bullet comes and hits him in the right part of his forehead, right? And now this, this is where you guys gotta listen because this is the biggest part of the theory that proves, in my opinion, that it was not Lee Harvey Oswald that killed him. So, JFK, like I said, gets shot in the right top forehead right here. The grass. 
was the CIA's job to make sure that all the windows were closed or covered up or something. And they just decided, you know what, that's too much work. We're not going to do it. We're just going to take our chances. And we all know what happened. Uh, another thing that should be said is that in 1979, the United States House Select Committee of Assassinations, or the HSCA, decided that Oswald did in fact kill Kennedy, but they concluded that the commission's report in the original FBI investigation was seriously flawed. So even the people who are employed for a living for doing this for their career saw all the evidence and said, you know what, you guys F that up. You guys really screwed that up. That's very flawed. That's very not well put together. And I agree. And uh, I really, really, really wish that there were better cameras back in the day. Uh, because I feel like even with the evidence there is now of these, you know, there's a Bruder film and stuff like that. It's kind of easy to tell that whatever the FBI was reporting at the time was just not, not true. You know, there was some loopholes and stuff that they got through. Uh, as always, though, it's your guys' opinion. You guys are entitled. It's just a conspiracy theory all along. So there's not necessarily a truthful answer. But there is a film called JFK that does a great, great job of, uh, you know, going through this conspiracy. Uh, and I watched a little bit of that to help me make this video. And there's like a whole court case scene where they're in court and the guy's breaking it down and shit is like, he's like killing it. <laughs> but, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I appreciate you checking out this video. I spent probably the most time I've ever spent on a video making this and it was still sloppy. So I apologize. But as always, I appreciate you checking this out. I look forward to making future conspiracy videos so please comment down below what you want to see uh, and